Yep, yeah, little old redlands. How you been, John? Yeah. So you've been tattooing today? Yeah, I've been flat out all day. So what did you end up doing? Um, let me see. What did I do? <laughs> oh, I did some uh, lips on a girl's chest. She said it was the kiss of death. It was like kind of covering up her uh, something she got with her ex-husband. Right. And then I did a skull with a um, spider mom, kind of Japanese style, to finish up the sleeve. Really destroyed this guy's elbow. Well, he was hurting really bad. Really <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell us how many years you've been tattooing for now? Almost 22 years of tattooing. Wow. Yeah. And did you do an apprenticeship? Uh, kind of. I, mean, I, I started under an artist, a professional artist, but it was just kind of jumped in and got started. I was a comic book artist before I started tattooing, so my art skills were already there. So it was just kind of learning machines and jumping in and kind of trial by fire and jump in and go for it. So it wasn't the typical like clean up, do everything else, it was just, just go. Now tell me, what tattoo machines do you like to use? Uh, I use a mix of things. <clears throat> I was never um, a coil guy, I mean not coil, a rotary guy, until Chris Cashmore came to my house and stayed with me and he brought me an inkjet. If you give me a machine, I'm going to use it at least one, so I can say it. I tried it, I didn't like it, I tried it, I liked it, and I haven't been able to put one of those down since. Really? I use you for all my shading with one of those. Um, I do all my lining with coils, though. So it's just a different kind of feel. So it's kind of like old school and new school. Kind of, kind of like my work. It's kind of right in the middle, like a little bit of everything. Can you tell us a little bit about your product, Alephrima? Yeah, we started about 10 years ago. You know, I had a partner, Joshua Carlton but now it's just me. We started off, we were the original company to do things like blood, zombie, color sets, artist series, nothing like that had ever been done before. So we created that whole thing. Now that's the industry standard. Yes. And since that's the industry standard, we can't just be the same old company just like everybody else. So just this weekend, we launched our new app, which is a members only, you have to be a professional tattoo artist. You have to use our product. It's it's more than a sponsorship. Companies are giving sponsorships, and all they're doing is giving a discount and telling you what to do and how to do it. We're inviting people to download our app and be part of what we do and help us create who we're going to be going into the future through events, videos, posts, all that stuff you're only going to find in our app. And that's going to help us take our company and our products from being great now to being a whole generation ahead of everybody else. Absolutely. So is, um, have you got any other new new colors coming out or anything? Are you always... Uh, we're always, we're always doing things, but like I said, about 10 years ago when we started off, we started off with things that no one ever thought about. You know, color sets, zombie blood, we, we originated this stuff. We knew it was mine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back We've created a whole generation of new pigments that haven't been released yet. And we thought, what are we going to do with this? So we're going to invite our members from our app to start coming together and create, help us recreate what made us great. Realistic colors. That's pretty much all I can really say right now. Okay. <laughs> members only, they're going to help us. Yeah. You'll see the final product, but yeah. we're... We got some mad geniuses that are helping us out. We're gonna Cycle. get as many artists as we can to help us instead of it just being me or whatever. So we're getting a lot of opinions and a lot of spread it out and trying to get as many people involved as possible. So good. Congratulations. Who do you look up to in the industry? <laughs> Too many? <laughs> I don't know. It's I grew up in a in, in an era where it's like being the middle child, you know? <laughs> There was all these people ahead of me that were so amazing and so great, you know, and, and I got to, over time, got to be friends, get tattooed by them, and, you know, I got a lot of work from Philip Lou, and so people like that were inspiring to me, but then there were people coming up from behind me, yes. you know, younger, and by the time I got, was like really into my career, I took a deep breath and could look back and go, wow, there's a lot of amazing artists. Absolutely. And so, it's not necessarily one person. I see people all the time, just little things inspire me all the time. There's a lot of younger artists. And there's a lot of guys my age too. Um, 
like I'm going to be getting tattooed in a week or so from Dean Sacred. He's someone who, not just his work, but his work ethic and how good of a person he is. That's the kind of things that really inspire me. It's not just the work, it's the work ethic, it's the personal standards that they, that they keep. You know. So what's next, I believe, you might be going to New Zealand? Yep. After a little bit of a holiday here in, uh, in Aussie, we're going to go holiday a little bit in New Zealand. We've got the Tauranga show, and which worked out good that this show is this weekend and that one is next weekend, so we can just pop over there. Uh, sometimes people think that I've just moved over here to <laughs> so many so, so many shows, but it'd be good to catch up all, all my Kiwi friends and have some time on the beach. Yeah. Thanks so much, John, for your time, and um, have a good rest of the weekend. All right.